We're going to jump into our fourth main topic today. And our fourth main topic today is this. Lucas, on the show, we were talking about uh, with Shane about how, um, you know, Knives Out, uh, Glass Onion and Knives Out Mystery or whatever, Mm -hmm. um, was able to uh, bring in, you know, like $15 million maybe-ish to the box office, right? And... Let me fix this real quick. And yeah, and I thought this was, you know, great for the box office. And and then me and Shane debated, well, is Netflix hitting themselves in the head because of they didn't make this a full, you know, release, right? And I was saying... You get the wrong article up. And I, and I was saying... Oh, yeah, I see. And I was saying that... Um, in my opinion, I think that they're not too worried about it because this was more of like a test, right? And Shane was saying, look, I would be hitting myself over the head. And Shane kind of convinced me, you know, maybe they are hitting themselves over the head about this. But as it seems in this article from The Hollywood Reporter, um, uh, coming from Reed Hastings, that Netflix is Reed Hastings is saying that, yeah, they understand that they left a lot of money on the table, but that they're also not really worried about it and that they're not trying to move towards being theatrical released um, movies constantly with them. So I want to read a little bit of of this article. Um, In a wide-ranging conversation Wednesday, Netflix CEO Reed Hastings acknowledged that he got advertising, quote, wrong, and that streaming competition has intensified. He admitted Netflix has lots of, of money on the table with its glass onion release strategy while also heaping praise on Bob Iger, Elon Musk, and Dave Chappelle quote, it's become a brawl now in the streaming of premium content. Hastings said when asked about the increased competition in the space, he said, quote, four years ago when I was here, nobody was in streaming. Hastings said Bob Iger to his credit saw back in 2017 or so that Disney's future was going to be streaming. Because of their, and again, we're talking about Disney, because of their enormous success, everyone else jumped in. In an interview with Andrew Ross Sorkin and New York Times Deal Book Summit in Manhattan, Hastings said that he was, quote, wrong about the advertising, noting that he was worried that Netflix would have to, quote, steal ad revenue from um, TV. But the shifting consumer demographics meant that TV, I mean, Mick, that connected TV was already becoming a more important place for marketers to spend their money. He says, quote, I have two religions, customer satisfaction and operating income. Everything else is a tactic, he said, when asked about the pivot. It's a good tactic because we offer consumers lower prices. He also, that's bullshit. He also discussed the return of Bob Iger to Disney, noting that he was a surprise. He did also talk a little bit about, um, Dave Chappelle and how he's proud to, you know, put him, put, you know, keep putting Dave Chappelle shit on Netflix, even with all the backlash and all that. He also goes on to say something about, again, like I said, that they're not focused on the theatrical push, even though he understands that he left money on the table. So I guess the question that this poses is if, they know they left money on the table. They know that it costs too much to make. They know they have no way of getting that money back. Why aren't they worried about this? How can you sit here in an interview and tell me like, ah, no big deal. I mean, this just sounds like the rich being rich, right? I mean, at the end of the day, it's it's like, oh, hey, hey, uh, hey rich dude, you could have made $50 million today instead of five. Pocket change. Ah, uh, you know, um, where to someone like me, um, that seems like, I mean, again, there's just a lot of, um, think about how many jobs and things there are to, to, I mean, that's just ridiculous, um, way of thinking. And this is coming from the, you know, the head, the, the higher up of, of Netflix to, and this is surprising to hear, right. Considering how good Knives Out is doing theatrically, um, in it's limited release of like 600 screens or whatever. Um, I went out and seen Knives Out uh, or Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery. Um, my review for the um, movie, my out of theater review at least, is up 
and there's a small video if you want to go check that out. But, and I haven't given my full review, and I will eventually. Um, but, yeah, with the success, this feels a little odd. And um, Netflix feels like our net. Netflix will end up being the odd man out if they continue to to have this way of thinking, right? Because clearly Amazon's all in. They're pushing their ships completely forward. They're dedicating a, a billion dollars to the theatrical industry. They're putting 12 to 15 movies out in theaters just next year alone. Um, you're going to see Apple and all these things, all these other services kind of fall into suit with that. And if Netflix... Netflix is going to have no choice but to pony up and do what everyone else is doing. Just like um, 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 uh, Hastings says um, about when Disney made their streaming app. Everyone else was like, all right, fuck it. I guess we got to do this too. And at the end of the day, that's what's going to happen to Netflix when everyone else starts giving um, so much to these uh, theater releases and they're not. So he can say what he wants. We can act like it's not an issue. Um, and when you do, it just, again, it sounds like if I'm, if I'm on the board or I have a ton of stock in Netflix and the CEO is saying shit like this, I'm going, what the fuck, dude? You're out of your goddamn mind. I you, we could have made a hundred, we could have made three hundred million dollars, and and you're over here telling a, a reporter, ah, We're forget about right. it. Well, as the dude who wants to cash in my big check this year, I would be doing that. That's all I'm saying. But Lucas, you're hearing this. What are your thoughts, man? Yeah, man, it's kind of dumb, right? I I I want to hope. Like, for his sake, that him saying, nah, we're not worried about it is him in an interview being asked, like, a tough question and him trying to, like, shirk it off. Shrug it, you yeah. know, like, like it doesn't actually, but he does have the board members, you know, in his pocket right now being like, hey. But I think other than that, like, even if he is being serious, you guys should be worried about it, man. I mean, like. Uh, maybe the reason they're not is because Netflix does a ton of, like, I mean, how many movies a year does Netflix make? You know what I mean? Thousands. I don't want thousands of Netflix. I don't want <laughs> Kissing Booth 3 in right. theaters. I don't want that. I don't care. Right. But Knives Out, uh, you know, that, yeah, that would be a movie I would love to see in theaters. You know, I remember, what was it, the um, Uncut Gems yep. with Adam Sandler? That was another one that I would, like, every once that in a while. That was in theaters. Yeah, and I didn't get to see it yeah. because it wasn't in there for, for very long. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I, I didn't check it out until after either. Right. But I would have loved to. That was the to. same I mean, year that we went every week. Those are the... That's weird. Um, right. But but yeah, man, I, I just think... I think it's a missed opportunity more than anything on their part. And I, I mean, like, just do it. Right. Right? Why not? I feel like... I feel like it's just dumb. It's a dumb decision not to. And you are right. I mean, like, the tragedy of Macbeth with Apple, that came out in theaters. It was very, very limited, right? Yeah, that was super limited. That was but, like... But they're just breaching into it, right? Theaters. Right, but they're, right. But they're just getting into it. And, I mean, like, that's probably not going to... The tragedy of Macbeth specifically, I mean, is but probably gonna, not going to be they're a gonna, broad... But it's, it's going to be more and more as it goes on. No, yeah, and that's yeah, what I'm saying. It's sure. a good one for them to, like, get their toes in the water. But, you know, Netflix has been doing it for a couple of years now, right? Where they'll just, you know, well, well the Duffer brothers have been talking about since a season strength, two yeah. about doing the last two, um, episodes or whatever, turning them into movies and putting them into theaters as a part Which one, part two. Smart. I think, are you kidding me? That's so I mean, smart. Yeah. Dude, that, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm just saying that has potential to be billion dollar movies for sure. For sure. No, and that, that's the point is that ah, we left some money on the table, whatever. <laughs> now you're yeah, talking but how about much. But now we're talking about billions of dollars. For well, we still easily. could. But the thing is, is that's why this statement is so ignorant, because right. it could have been that with Knives Out. You we never really know. just don't know. You don't so know. to say that is just so, so ignorant to me. It I is. I don't think Knives Out would have made a billion dollars, realistically speaking, but you never know. And I think I think it's just dumb. I think they are dumb for not doing it. That's it. Ignorant. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I agree 100%. And like I said, I mean, at some point, they'll just, they will, if they stick to these, stick to their guns with this, they'll just, they'll have to follow suit because mm -hmm. everyone else will be. Or why, they'll why be. Why stick to your guns, though? That's just, right? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Because right. you, you are, he is in there already talking about how stiff the competition is now, especially 
with Disney's streaming service. And then since that landslide, everybody's doing it, right? Right. Those studios are also doing theatrical releases. And if you're going to want to keep up with them, and I, I know Netflix is a much different company than Disney, right. per se, or Amazon. Sure. But that's even more reason why you guys want to get in, get a foothold in the theater door. I mean, right. it's ju- you're just... You're just talking about losing money right? It, when you shouldn't have to. Willy-nilly. You know? Right. Like I said, there's a board of people out there with it's their money that's invested, and I'm sure that that's not what they want to hear is, oh, well, you know, mm-hmm. win some, you lose some, you know, but whatever. Um, also, like I said, I think that they won't be able to continue to have this stance when Amazon and other places are investing billions of dollars into the theater industry itself. So um, say what you want. Uh, Reed Hastings, but your name just sounds super rich and white. So Reed Hastings. it just goes with, <laughs> goes with your attitude, Reed. Um, anyways, uh, let's move on here, guys. What are your th- What are your thoughts uh, on uh, uh, Reed Hastings saying these things? What are your thoughts about Glass Onion? Uh, could it have made more? Do you think it? You think we're wasting time even talking about this? Definitely, let us know your thoughts down in the comment section below.